Hey, welcome back to the Too Fast channel. Many of you that watch this channel know that I build custom auto dimming rear view mirrors for Mercedes-Benz pre-1996 cars. And I do custom jobs uh, from time to time, mostly for BMWs and Porsches. And recently I had picked up a Volkswagen EOS VR6. Uh, you might have seen some of the videos that I've done with modification on that car. And I figured that uh, uh, I probably should explore uh, doing a custom mirror for the Volkswagen because I've never really built one before. Now my Volkswagen EOS already had an auto dimming rear view mirror in it. So it wasn't really a high priority that I get something in the car. I, it, this is more or less just a, uh, a test to see what I can do with that car. Um, so my existing rear view mirror um, is auto dimming with a on off button that turns off uh, the auto dimming function, which most cars don't have that function. For some reason, the Volkswagen does. Some Hyundais have that function. Um, upon taking apart the mirror, um, it, um, it's not an extremely complicated design since it's from 2008, but it does have a reverse lockout for the auto dimming. And what's kind of unique about the, the Volkswagen mirror is it actually has a uh, lockout for the auto dimming from the interior dome lights. So if you, if your interior dome lights are on, the, the rear view mirror will not dim. Most cars don't have that feature. Um, and of course my, my uh, EOS has a auto dimming uh, driver's side mirror. So I had to pick a donor mirror that uh, had the facilities in it to dim the door mirrors. So the, the mirrors I normally use uh, with the compass and the home link um, for my Mercedes conversions, they don't have that feature. They, they do not have a, a, a built-in facility for auto dimming the side mirrors. So I had to go with a different type of mirror. And I've used these mirrors in the past. Um, these, this particular one doesn't have a compass, but uh, some of these are available with uh, uh, a hidden compass up there, a hidden amber compass. Uh, they're they're um, a little bit more difficult to find uh, from wrecked cars, and they do demand a bit more money on the used market. Uh, this particular one um, has integrated home link and has a an alarm LED on the bottom. Now, I really couldn't utilize um, the existing alarm LED as it was because it was a uh, it's run through the circuit board of uh, this mirror, and it doesn't it doesn't blink. Um, so it's it relies on a signal from your alarm to blink the LED. Now my EOS does have an alarm, and I could, if I wanted to, run additional wires, track down the alarm brain, figure out which wires coming out of it are for the alarm LED, and tap into it. But you know. It's an awful lot of work to do, and I just couldn't find a, a security system diagram. Uh, so it's like, well, I, I don't, I don't really need to do that. So what I did instead was was something that I, I, I've done uh, in the past um, a couple of times. I actually made this mirror self dimming, or self dimming, this mirror, uh, the alarm in the mirror, the alarm LED in the mirror. Uh, auto blinking. So how it, how I set this up to work is when the car is off, this LED blinks. When you turn the car on, it shuts off. So uh, pretty simple. The uh, existing plug on this for the EOS, um, this is a six pin plug right here. Um, what's interesting is uh, I, I bought a donor mirror out of a Volkswagen uh, CC and it only, it, it had a six pin plug on it so I thought it was identical to the one in my car, but when I actually got it, there's only four wires. So it was missing two wires. It did not have the wires inside of it to dim the uh, driver's door mirror, but all the pins were in the plug. So you can't really look at the plug and say, okay, uh, I, I got four, four wires or six wires. You can't go by the number of pins right in here. You gotta actually count the wires because there, there were a couple of blank pins um, inside of the plug. So uh, what I did was I, I took the plug out of the, the donor CC mirror. 
I added a couple wires for six wires and I used that for this conversion. Um, but I had to, um, I had to run an additional wire, uh, for the alarm LED because the alarm LED needs a constant 12 volt power. And, uh, so, um, this was the bracket that uh, came out of the CC mirror, and it was basically the same as the EOS bracket. Um, long as you, long as I uh, uh, got one that had uh, a bracket that was designed for a rain sensor. So the the cars without rain sensors have a, a smaller, uh, the bracket's different. They have a smaller mounting base on it. So. Um, Extensive modifications on the inside of this mirror to, to do this. I also, um, this, this particular mirror only normally comes with one LED in here. I actually took, um, uh, I stripped out most of that and I built a little uh, plug that goes into this cap and I mounted four LEDs in there. Um, I'll power this up in the car. I can't really power this up on my, my, work, my workbench right here to show you that, how it blinks, but uh, it's quite an interesting blink pattern I got out of this with the four LEDs. So, uh, so what does this give me over what I had in my car? Uh, well, first off, I've got home link in the mirror. Um, and then uh, I've got an additional alarm LED. The, the EOS has a single alarm LED in the corner of the driver's door only. I, I thought that was kind of a ludicrous position to put the alarm LED because it's only really visible from one side of the car. Um, I always liked um, LEDs that were visible from outside of the car or from the center of the car. So regardless, if you're looking in from the driver's or the passenger side, you're going to see a blinking LED with, with something like this in the mirror. So um, those are the two benefits I really get out of this. Um, and what do I lose? Well, um, since this mirror does not have the facility to deal with uh, a, a lockout of the auto dim for the interior lights, I lose that function, but, um, you know, again, that's, that's not a big deal. Most cars don't have that function anyway. So, um, that's, uh, that's really the only drawback with this particular design. I can, uh, build, uh, you know, if I was, uh, to actually offer mirrors like this for other Volkswagen owners, so let's say you had a GTI or a Jetta or an EOS that had no auto dimming mirror. Then, then the sky's the limit. I can, I can offer a lot of different variants, uh, mirrors like this with uh, home link and uh, LED, or mirrors like this with home link and built-in compass, uh, mirrors like this with uh, auto dimming and an on-off button to turn the auto dimming on and off, plus a compass. I mean, a lot of different varieties. I can even build, um, uh, I can even build mirrors that. Uh, have a um, uh, backup screen in them. So, uh, you know, if you ha wanted to run a backup camera, if you wanted to run a backup camera, uh, when you shifted the car in the reverse, a little screen right here would come on and you could see what's going on behind your car from the backup camera. Um, those, are, both, those are pretty straightforward mirrors, um, though they don't have home link in them. They have the uh, backup display and they have uh, auto dimming and that's basically it. But uh, if uh, any of you are interested in any type of custom design for your particular automobile, definitely, you know, leave me a message and uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, so anyway, um, enough talking. I'll, I'm going to go ahead and, and put this in the car and uh, get this hooked up. And then we'll take a look at it in the car functioning. Okay, I've got the mirror installed in the uh, Volkswagen now. And I've got the plastic cover reinstalled. Uh, this wire routing, uh, this is OEM to the car as well as the cover. And the ignition is off. So if we take a look at the LED, you can see the four LEDs are blinking in a random fashion. Uh, which was unexpected. I expected those LEDs to uh, blink in unison, and they definitely don't. And even the pattern they, that they blink in, it's completely random. It may look like a pattern, but it changes up every few seconds, so it's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, That's the first time I've actually installed four LEDs in uh, uh, one of these mirrors. 
So this is um, this is how this is going to function with the car off. And when we put the key in the ignition, turn it on, the LEDs go off. And you can see the auto dimming mirror is dimming. So I put a piece of tape on this rear sensor. And the home link is functioning just as it should. So the mirror is dimming. And if we move over to the side mirror, you can see that the side mirror is uh, dimming as well. And let's just say I turn the car off. Oh, that's right. And dimming should go back to normal. Turn the car back on. Side mirror dims. Let's take a look at this. You can see that that is dimmed. And if we put the car in reverse. The uh, dimming shuts off just like it's supposed to. And if we put it back in park. It dims up again. All right, so that's going to uh, end um, this demonstration of uh, the auto dimming mirror I just built for the Volkswagen EOS. And hope you found the information useful. Uh, if there's something I can build for you, definitely leave me a message or leave me a comment and I'll get back to you.